Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tabiso. I am Tabiso Arungwejana and you tuned in to Thursday the 11th of May 2023 Surab City Reading. The title of today's message is Sent to Tell His Story. While you're still at that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Make sure that you like and share these videos with your loved ones and also leave a comment in the comment section below. The opening scripture is John 14 verse 9 which reads as follows. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how saith thou then, show us the Father? Pastor says, all over the world, people pray in the name of Jesus. They preach him on the streets and every week in churches. Some have written books about him, sung about him, and prophesied in his name. But a very painful reality is that many don't know who he really is. True, they've heard about him, but he's not merely a great religious leader that many know him as. He is God. Sadly, even among preachers, some only know him as Savior, who saved us from our sins. But Jesus is much more than that. He is himself God, the omnipotent, immortal God, living in unapproachable light of divine glory, co-equal with the Father and the embodiment of the Godhead. We see that in Colossians chapter 1 verse 19, chapter 2 verse 9, and 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 14 to 16. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of all, who has all authority in heaven, in earth, and under the earth. We are his witnesses, and we have to let the world know that he is real and that he came to die as a man for all men. He was raised from the dead and lives forever. Let's get busy telling the whole world about him. The work we are doing here on earth isn't an end in itself. One day we would have told the last person, we would have held the last conference or the last church service. We would have completed everything he asked us to do. And then we'll hear that trumpet sound. The Lord will appear and will receive crowns of glory. First Peter 5 verse 4 says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded that fadeth not away. Glory to his name forever. Let us take today's prayer. Say, Blessed Lord Jesus, how great you are. You are the immortal God, the King of kings and Lord of all, with all authority in heaven, in earth, and under the earth. You are the master and ruler the one with supreme authority and preeminence. I believe with all my heart and declare with my mouth that you are my Lord. You are God over all and the one who made all things. I love you, Lord. For further studies, we read John chapter 17, verse 3, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 5 to 6, and 2 Corinthians 5, verse 18 to 20. If you are on the one-year Bible reading plan, today we read John 5, verse 31 to 47, and 1 Kings chapter 7 to chapter 8. If you are on the two-year Bible reading plan, today we read Mark 9, verse 30 to 37, and Numbers chapter 14. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's Rhapsody reading. Do join us tomorrow as we read... The message titled, Knowledge is Important. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Information with Tabiso. 
and see you tomorrow with tomorrow's message. Have a beautiful day.